Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 13. And in this blog post, I'm going to discuss about the stacked bar chart. This will be the first vlog in the series of the bar chart, stacked bar chart. So let's start. Uh, as usual, uh, like the previous videos, first we will discuss about the theory. And then, all right, after that, I will actually showcase you with some practical example. So uh, first thing that actually comes into our mind is like what is actually stacked bar chart. So normally, uh, why do we need to create it? Let's see about that. Uh, we actually need to create the stack bar chart when we actually need to display only one year and we need to display it uh, against one or more dimensions. Uh, I will showcase you with an example later on. But always remember that it is quite recommended that whenever you would like to showcase uh, one layer and one or more dimensions, you can use the stack bar chart. It's a good option to showcase your data with respect to this statement. But this is highly recommended. Like you, you should not uh, uh, add more dimension against one layer. So because that will actually create more complex data, uh, data visual, and it will be very hard to read or uh, hard to view the table, uh, sorry, the visual for the data, uh, for the user, for the end user. So it is highly recommended that you must use only two dimension against one layer to showcase your data in the stack plot chart. Normal operations that you can actually perform uh, on layers are basically some average, minimum, max, count, distinct, and count, and standard deviations and variance. These are the few operations that you can actually play around in your stack bar chart, but uh, there are more operations that you can also perform. Uh, so here is the more uh, visual side about the stack bar chart. Here, uh, this is something we are, this is, this is an example of the stack bar chart. So if you look at more closely, uh, if you follow my uh, red pointer of the mouse, uh, you will see the values here on your y-axis named as like sales amount. So, uh, sorry, on the x-axis. So th the name of the x-axis is basically sales amount. So it means that on horizontal side, uh, you are going to get the values. This is the value which we called it like my year. This is coming from your fact table. Now on the Y axis, you will have another dimension, which is actually the name of the countries, right? So this is the dimension. So if you look into this stack bar chart, you are saying like you are viewing the sales amount with respect to the countries, uh, all right? But uh, if you look closely into the United States, you will see few more uh, segmentations in your stack bar chart. So what are these? So these are basically uh, named as legends, but you can actually say that this is another dimension as well, because uh, we are slicing it more around another dimension, like right here, the bracket, uh, sorry, the colored rectangle is basically a region and region is showcasing like this is the amount of data that is uh, amount of sales that are that are being um, that are actually made in a certain region of the country, US. Same goes, it's so on, so on and so forth. This yellow also depicts some kind of region as well. So this is how you can actually provide dimension within an, within an, uh, another uh, dimension to slice and dice the data. So now let's move towards our more practical format for the Power BI. So here is my Power BI canvas. And here you will see that I have another visual over here. This is the basically stack bar chart. So let me delete it and then we will have uh, we will start it from the scratch. So for the starters, I'm going to discuss about like how you can create a stack bar chart. So uh, for, uh, so uh, if you follow my red pointer, you will see that the first icon uh, 
in the Power BI visualization set is the stack browser. So you just only need to click on it and you will get a template about the stack bar chart. So I'm just going to like expand it more uh, for more visual enhancement, enhancement. So now let's suppose like I would like to create a visual with respect to the, uh, uh, the same visual that I have showcased you in my Power BI PowerPoint slide. So let, uh, for, for that, I need sales amount. So I just click on it and Power BI automatically has added the sales amount in X axis uh, of the uh, stack chart. Now I want to see the data with respect to another dimension. So I just create, clicked on the country. So right here, it has segregated, or I should say like, uh, sliced and diced the data with respect to the country. Now I would like to slice it more, just like my pre, uh, just like in my PowerPoint slide. So I need another dimension. So I say that I would like to see the data with respect to the. So here it is. Now I'm viewing the data with respect to the region as well, right? So purple means the region is central in the U uh, United States and the sales amount is like 79 uh, million rupees, uh, sorry, million dollars. So on and so forth, right? So let's create another visual. So I just create, I will just click on it and a new visual will come over here. So it has, uh, it is displayed over here. Now let's suppose that I want to create again the visual with respect to the sales amount. So the sales amount is coming here. I would like to see the country, again, the country by sales, but right now I would like to see the data with respect to the products. Like I need to segment the sales with the country with respect to the product. So here it is. So there's a lot of data that is actually going on, coming in, right? So it's quite uh, robust and it's not so much good, but it's just it's just giving you a glimpse about uh, um, about the sales data with respect to the product within a uh, different countries, and it's just giving you uh, it's it's just summarizing the data right now, just giving you a glimpse about like what is actually happening. So who has the major share in the United States? You can see that like it's HL Mountain Frame, like two. So if you uh, go to the visualization section of any bar chart, you will see that the, on, the X, uh, on the axis, you will get a data of the dimension, right? On the legend side, you will get the uh, data that is broken into different pieces, it's, a, it's another dimension. Now, if you get the values, go to the values, you will see the sales amount. So it's highly recommended like when you have like few values in few dimensions and you would like to give a clear cut picture about your one measure. Right now, uh, as I said earlier, like uh, we are using the sales amount value. Now we can actually change it. So let's change it to the average. The visual will adjust itself automatically. See, now the data is again segmented, but right now on the y axis, uh, on the x axis, the data is based on the average of the sales amount. Now let's do some another thing, like if I would like to see the maximum. So again, the data has changed and uh, data has arranged itself with respect to the maximum amount. Since the U United States at the top, so it has actually uh, it categorized itself uh, on the top of the list. But again, you can see that the segmentation that is actually made is also, uh, uh, the segmentation is, uh, uh, the, the segmentation is also formatted. So again, if I move forward 
forward, uh, let's suppose I would like to see the variance. So what will happen? So right now I'm actually viewing the variance formula. So right now I really don't, I really don't need it, but I, I to just give you the glimpse, like this is not the use case, but just to give you the glimpse, like if you change the value with respect to your requirement, the Power BI has so much power that it will actually uh, change uh, the shape of the data on the fly. So this is where you need to utilize the stat parser. My future videos will be more concentrated about the star, sta, stack bar chart, uh, uh, stack bar chart, and it will contain the information about the filters, how you can actually utilize the values section, like when to use variance, when to use maximum, minimum, things like that, when to use the drill through and so on and so forth.